Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be Gemini Sun, Moon and Rising uh, weekly tarot reading for February 11th to February 17th, 2019. So the traditional deck is what I'm going to use here and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I once again want to remind you that that is going to be a, a general reading for uh, Gemini star sign and for that reason is going to resonate differently with uh, every single Gemini because every single Gemini is different from the one next to them. And uh, one more thing is that uh, due to recent interactions really with, say, uh, with people and so on and so forth, me and my uh, financial advisor decided that uh, you know, the prices of uh, my services are rather quite, un let's say, not unacceptable, but um, unaccessible for the people that really need help. Because, you know, if you are a rich person, probably you don't need a tarot reading. So, for that reason, uh, for the month of February, all the prices are slashed. Some of them, uh, some of, of the price of the services are slashed even uh, with... Um, more than just a uh, 50 percent so uh, until this uh, very moment if you wanted a reading with me but you found the uh, pricings um, <clears throat> unaccessible have a look right now at my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, maybe you're gonna find the new pricing rather attractive so that being said going to the spread four card spread guys enhanced one so for every position i'm going to draw additional card and the first card for you gemini's which is about the topic of your week that is going to be the five of cups followed by the second card wow okay so that is going to be quite of a um, a big one for what it seems uh that is going to be the uh, death card and the death card in this position or rather like this position is about what you should not do regarding the first card the third one uh, that is going to be the high priestess which is the positive approach or what you should do regarding uh, the situation and the last one uh, it is the final outcome should you follow the guidance of tarot and in this particular spread which by the way it is a spread that Alistair Crowley used a lot um, it is always a, a card of growth so five of cups once again five of cups what well, one second so five of cups death card high priestess and the six of cups at the end lovely all right uh i'm going to leave them right now here on my table so I don't wove them in the air, it's a little bit uncomfortable and I'm going to draw additional cards as well. So uh, what it seems here is, is that um, th that is going to be, first of all, a little bit of a rough week for you. I mean, you are going to have a lot of questions for yourself. Uh, what I mean is that the certain endeavors and enterprises are going to make you questioning, is it really worth moving on with them? Long story short, the question is, yes, it does worth moving on with them, regardless of how disappointed or even... Um, regretful your feeling at the very start of the week so that is long story short but we are going to die and indulge with the cards deeper so the first one which is the five of cups it is about the topic of your week and what the five of cups is all about well it's about disappointment it is about as well losses you know but the thing with the five of cups is that these are partial experiences what i mean is that the loss or disappointment is not that severe like with the Ten of Swords, for example, or even with the Tower card, uh, for that matter. So what the thing here is, is that you are going to experience those, um, you will have those experiences, but they will not make you lose your self-respect and self-confidence as well, okay? Uh, long story short here, simply these things happened, but not because of your fault. And you will very well recognize that. But uh, this as well is not going to be as well a prerequisite for you to move on thought. What I'm trying to say is that at that point, you may seriously consider moving on with this endeavor. Quick example here, relationship and your partner disappoints you and disappoints you heavily. So at that point, you're thinking, well, is it 
is it really worth it you know i mean it's kind of like he disappoint me or she disappoint me and maybe they're gonna do it again uh, i'm feeling poignant now and maybe you know i have to i have to simply bail out well no you don't uh because with the five of cups this is like a test this is like a um predicament that universe plays in every, in front of every single one of us so we can be able to differentiate the blessings we do possess because um, that is in our human nature really uh, it's that as the time passes into one enterprise or endeavor uh, we as a human beings are more are more prone to take the positivity as granted and only to uh, judge the negativity in so what this card asks you here is for example if this is about relationship yeah your partner may have been disappointed you uh, but also you have to take under consideration the positive aspects of their presence in your life as well instead of being completely succumbed to this feeling of disappointment and same goes for your career you know that that card could um, expresses a an kind of like a uh, a bad turn or a um, a negative turn into one of your projects and you may think well it's it, it isn't really worth it you know but at that point you have to also think if you proceed on thought what is going to be the benefit for you because things aren't black and white in that specific picture the um the shade that the other card adds here that is the page of swords and uh, what this uh, card is pointing at, as what that card adds as a layer to the uh, Five of Cups, is that you have to uh, readapt. It's not even readapting, but let's say learn the new way, if I may express myself that way, or make a spring cleaning. Uh, literally, this is a very favorable combo uh, for a social circle. These cards are pointing that your social circle is going to be purged, all right? Or in general, your situations are going to be purged through this loss and through this disappointment. Simply said, uh, only thing that is going to drop off your plates and that you're going to lose is that that you don't need. Although in that point, you may think that it is something something substantial for you to succeed in either of the relationship or career endeavors. It isn't really. So moving to the next card, it is what you should not do regarding the situation, and that is the death card. So what the death uh, speaks is change. Things comes around and goes around, everything is in flux, and the old needs to um, leave space to the new to take place, so a new life can be born. But what we said is that you aren't done yet, not even remotely. And you're not even close to achieving your goal, to making the conquest you are after. So what this card points is that you should not make a clean break. You should not abandon this endeavor, this relationship or this job for that matter. This card asks you to um, persist on moving forward and not to deviate from the path that you have taken just because you are facing a, a plight at that specific uh, at that specific week or a challenge these things challenge or plights are there to be overcome and you got to do what is necessary and not many things are necessary really just only your determination to move on forward with it it is required so you can overcome this um this situation uh also, the death card in this position is a confirmation that you haven't done anything wrong at all, all right? So you don't have to readopt your strategies at all. The shade that um, the next card adds here, that is the world. So uh, they, these cards are even speaking more than I can, guys. It's simply the world points that you aren't yet ready yet. These are the things that you should not do. And you should not accept the uh, agenda or the enterprise as finished, as done, as settled. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of like it requires bravery and it does require determination. But you do have those and you have to proceed on thought with it. So simply said with these couple of cards as the things that you should not do, long story short, is that you should not seek a different agenda, different goal, new beginning, 
or a new perspective. You do have your perspective, you do have your goal, you do have your conquest that awaits for you and you simply need to press on and not to bail out, like I said, just because you are facing a difficulties, maybe for the first time, maybe for the second, but what is life without difficulties, guys? It's simply, it, it's gonna be a boring life. Well, um, simply this is what these couple of cards are uh, pointing at that, uh, at that place, and uh, to me, it really, it does look like as a, um, something that it isn't, that be i mean something dispose uh, um what was expendable yeah the word was expendable i would have used disposable it's not going to be uh, this week is not going to refer into something very severe that you cannot live without okay but into something that you can easily say well, okay i can do without you and uh move on forth but although these cards are really asking you to uh make a second to give it a second chance or to uh, make a second guess here and uh, really give it give it la one last push one last try and uh, you will see that uh, your situation regarding this uh, endeavor is going to improve significantly so the next card that we do have it is the things that you should do here and we do, we do have the high priestess so the high priestess uh it's uh one card pointing that one should proceed on forth according to plan that is first thing also uh it does asks you to uh, take a bit of a withdrawal as well in a sense of that you can listen to yourself not to the disappointment, not to the loss, not to the people around you, but to yourself. It all comes to that, what, what do you want? It all comes to that, what, how you want to feed up your soul, okay? And uh, because the high priestess is about a uh, inner voice and inner wisdom and inner guidance as well, no one can actually uh, tell you what you need to do. Not, not even I. I, mean, I can only suggest you through that reading. But at the end, uh, this card pretty much seals the deal that only you can make the most intelligent decision, how you should proceed on from now, uh, from now this endeavor of yours. And simply you need to listen to yourself and not the ideas of others. And to do so, just seclude yourself, meditate, you know, or, or do your things, do, do your spiritual thing to invoke the inner guidance and the inner voice. And as I said, that is different from intuition, okay? Intuition is something that is an insight that comes without having anything as a prerequisite on it. Inner, inner guidance and inner voice or inner intelligence, it is when you do have the necessary experience, but you forgot about it. Something distant or you uh, kind of like spot a clues here and there, but at that point they were irrelevant for your life, so you didn't memorize them. They have been stored into the deep memory and uh, you need a meditation or a spiritual work here to dig up those memories and to make a conclusion how you should proceed on uh, forth. As well, the high priestess may point that um, you are going to be advised by a very wise woman, okay? But that woman ain't going to make a decision for you. This woman simply is going to open those doors of your conscious and subconscious as well that are going to make you think. And uh, you have to seriously consider uh, what she's telling you. The shade of this card, it's uh, the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands, it's a card about exploring opportunities but we do have an active enemies here so uh what the uh passive enemies excuse me and so what this card is pointing is that you don't have many uh many ways how to move on forth and uh the appearance of that card it points that also there are a lot of uh, uh, wrong uh, wrong actions that you can take and that's why it's necessary for you to deliberate upon how you should proceed on from now forth, either with your career and your relationship, so you don't take neither of those wrong, uh, wrong actions. And for example, one of the wrong actions is to simply leave, okay, and bail out on it. 
so it will once again it will require a uh, a little bit of seclusion from your behalf just to think you know to pick up your mind together wrap up your thoughts around the issue and uh, the right way how you should proceed on thought with uh, the uh, situation is going to be revealed uh, to you and will become obvious. The thing here with the uh, Knights of Wands uh, as a uh, passive enemy to the High Priestess is that uh, whatever uh, action seems risky to you, it is the action that you should not take at all. Okay, so uh, you should bet only on a secure, secure action or a secure approach. So risky moves are the moves which are wrong moves. That that is the hint that I can give you from these couple of cards. But just like I said here, Gemini's the um, the right way how you can um, approach your career or relationship. Um, it is uh, it can be it can. It can be uncovered only by you by deliberating upon your spiritual growth and wrapping your mind around the situation and being objective as well. That is very important. And so what happens afterwards is that we do have the six of uh, the six of cups. So that is the final outcome. Should you follow the guidance of tarot? Well, Six of Cups, first of all, it does represent a lot of emotional satisfaction from the small things in life. So you are finding yet blessings in this endeavor which you have experienced loss prior to the manifestation of the Six of Wands. Now you are finding that, you, that, that there is so much more for you to take from this endeavor and so much more to fight for as well there so there is still blessings even if they don't match your uh, generic expectations all right but also this card points that there will be as well those that you haven't expected i mean such blessings that you haven't expected this card points that should you move with this guidance i just gave you you will be able to express yourself so much more creatively into your career and as well uh, that's um, uh, basically things that you are going to do from now on are going to be things that you are going to enjoy doing so we don't have any chores anymore we only have a, a performance of passion a performance of creativity and as well performance of um, exhilaration as well all right and uh, if we talk about connections, I just want to give you as much as I can from the cards, guys. Um, but the general interpretation is that you are going to find blessings there where you thought that you lost. All right. But in uh, connections and in friendships and as well into uh, relationships, this card refers to emotional and simultaneously with it a physical attraction. So um, also may speak with uh, for friends with benefits with this um, uh, with this follow up in which you have a huge potential that to uh, involve into a, a very very serious relationship moving on forward. Uh, the additional card to it this is going to be the two of pentacles, which is a uh, and that forms passive friends and what we have is that you should not move on forth with uh, any um, biased expectations as well you know and uh, with uh, how can I place it you should not move on as well with uh, yeah biased expectations and uh, as well premeditated um, premeditated approach like strict approach you should learn your lesson from the first card that not everything goes according to plan and now the best the best way how you can pull the maximum out of all those blessings coming at your behalf is to be is to be playful is to move uh, according to the situation because the two of pentacles points that there will be small changes here and there happening you know like a surprising changes from which you can see them uh, in a couple of ways you know you can see them as a uh, ruining of your plan if you are strict to your plan or seeing them as an opportunities if you are playful and you can uh, adapt them to your uh, position it will depend entirely on you but once again uh, these cards are urging you to leave uh, you know your strict routine here and to stick to a go to go list and a, a strict plan 
I'm be more carefree, literally, be more playful, take on all those uh, changes happening here, here and there once again as in a uh, vision of opportunity rather than as a standpoint of a, a ruin of one's plan. And you're going to see that you can be, as I said, much more creative. Uh, your job is going to give you more pleasure. And as well, you have a, a severe chance to bump up to bump up into someone if you are not already in such a, a connection uh, that you are going to have simultaneously emotional and as well physical attraction. So that being said, uh, Gemini's, this was your weekly tarot reading for February 11 to February 17, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, I want to remind you that for the month of February, uh, the prices for all of my services I, are massively slashed, uh, reduced, so I can make uh, more services more accessible to the people that really need help, that are struggling with uh, their career, finances, and even love-wise for that matter. And uh, if you found until this very moment that um, I, you know, I was inaccessible for you and for your budget, have a look now and uh, maybe you're gonna find the new prices uh, attractive. So uh, that being said, once again, this was your tarot reading, weekly tarot reading, and I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.